During an attack, a bad guy will forward email to an external mailbox to help them exfiltrate data and accomplish their mission. I'm going to show you how to identify these suspicious forwarding rules using Microsoft Cloud App Security. Cloud App Security understands what a user's typical behavior is versus something that's abnormal. Thus, it's going to identify suspicious email forwarding rules in Office 365. So let's take a look at this in more detail. Let's pretend for a moment that I'm a bad guy and I've compromised your account and I want to start forwarding email to an external address. So I'm going to go into the mailbox within Office 365. I'm going to create a new mailbox rule and uh, I'm just going to call it a title for now. A bad guy probably would not call that. But uh, let's say anytime my name is on the to line, go ahead and forward it to an external address and save it. So if that rule is created here in OWA or in Outlook or in PowerShell, doesn't matter where, Cloud App Security will see that that was created and it will generate an alert. Now I've already done this. So if we go to alerts here within Cloud App Security, here's suspicious inbox forwarding. And when I click on that, it's gonna tell me that this was for Exchange Online as opposed to another app like G Suite that's connected to my Cloud App Security instance here for Megan. And I can see that uh, Megan has created or updated an inbox forwarding rule that forwards all incoming email to this external address of Matt Sosman at Yandex.com. Uh, Megan is also a user administrator in Office 365, which is interesting. And at this point, I can go out and start my investigation. So I might want to go out to the activity log here and uh, filter by activities. So we're just going to say forward anytime a forwarding uh, commandlet was ran on the mailbox, we're going to audit it. And so here we can see that, uh, that that was ran. And if I hover over, it's going to give me some more information about, uh, about what happened there, just what we saw in that alert. And then during my investigation, I can view that user, see what's happening with that user. And I may want to go out and, and do a little bit more investigation on that user. Perhaps maybe they are compromised. So at this point, I'm going to go out to users and accounts and we're going to open up Megan's user page, which launches the UEBA experience, which I talked about in another video, that I can then go through and see all of the suspicious activity. And I can see that her investigation priority score is 210, pretty high, indicating there's possible risk here and perhaps she's been compromised. So pretty interesting stuff. Let me show you the policy that does this. So we're going to go to policies and filter on anomaly detection policy. And we're going to scroll down and find the suspicious inbox forwarding. And this is the policy. It comes built into Cloud App Security. You just need to enable it. And this is where I can set a filter if I want or just leave it wide open like I have. And I can apply governance actions. So not only can I tell it to alert me and send me an email and a text and do other things, or I could also say alert me and suspend the user account. Also tell Azure AD that the user account is high risk, thus conditional access and all those good things kick in. And if G Suite's connected to my CASB, I can also monitor for suspicious inbox forwarding in G Suite and then suspend the user account over there as well. So not only alert me and tell me that's happening, but automatically take action. And that's the beauty of it. So folks, this is monitoring suspicious inbox forwarding rules using Microsoft Cloud App Security. Pretty cool. As you can see, this is very easy to set up. Just enable that policy and configure your governance actions. You can even have it sent to Power Automate, Microsoft Flow, to then have it run a playbook and do other things, which is really interesting. Okay, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to be notified when I upload new videos. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And if you have any questions about licensing, you do need to own Microsoft Cloud App Security for this capability. Now, how you acquire that license is through many different methods. Be sure to contact your Microsoft partner or reseller, and they can help guide you through it. Okay, everybody, we'll see you in the next video. Take care.